A true superstar of American racing's golden age, Roger Ward was one of the greatest drivers in Indianapolis 500 history. In 1959, he decided to take on his Continental and F1 rivals at the U.S. Grand Prix at Sebring. For some odd reason, Ward decided his Curtis Craft sprint car could perhaps measure up against the European machines and their drivers which, although a tactical misjudgment, was certainly a testimony to his boldness and determination. On a grid which included no less than seven American drivers, Ward was last, his qualifying time some 43 seconds off the pace of the Cooper climax of Pullman Sterling Moss Ward's efforts behind the wheel of the midget were fruitless but surely spectacular as he drifted his way around the airfield's bumpy turns. Attrition pushed him up to eighth at one point but a clutch failure forced him out after 20 laps. Subscribe to the F1i newsletter join now free.